Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Extension. So today we will see the configuration or we can say that the connection of XAMPP server with the Microsoft SQL server. So let's start. First we download the XAMPP server. So open your browser and uh, download the XAMPP local server. Click on the first link. Here different versions are available. So I'm going to select this one 7.2 and this is my operating system is 64 bit operating system. You can find it here. So download as per your system requirement. See so guys here our downloading is started now. Actually the configuration of XAMPP server or any local server with the PHP MySQL it is very easy to configure. In fact it comes with the built-in package that is you can find out in the PHP MyAdmin there are input SQL that is a MySQL okay so it is very easy process but in the case of MS SQL Server, uh, we need to install the driver. We will see it. Our download is finished now. So open and install it. The installation process is uh, very easy. Click on the next again. This is our path. This is by different language. Next. Okay, guys, this is now installing. See, guys, Microsoft provide the driver for PHP for SQL Server. So we need to download it first after I finish this XAMPP installation. I will show you how to do it with the simple steps. So don't worry about that. We need to download and install SQL Server also. And uh, the most important part is we need the SQL Server Management Studio, which is the most important thing in this part where we can create our database our user and we need to give the permissions okay so we will see it later after this installation get finished so it is ongoing now Our installation is done. Click on the finish. This is the control panel of XAMPP server. So start the Apache. After that open the admin. So you will redirect to the local host. This is our dashboard. Click on the PHP info. Here you will find the version of your PHP that is 7.2. So now we need to download the driver, Microsoft driver for PHP SQL. Search this. 
here you will find uh, the driver this is the SQL server driver actually this is the older version that is 4.0 so we need the different driver select the second link here you will find the 5 version 5 see the 5.8 latest driver download it and then click on the download file select yes we need to specify the path please pay attention on this click on the browse we need to navigate the XAMPP folder first that is installed in C drive then find out the XAMPP folder this is our XAMPP inside the XAMPP folder click on the PHP then EXT folder ok then click on the ok the DLL file automatically copied into that folder PHP then EXT C that the NTS 64 here our version is 7.2 so we need to attention on that the 72 NTS and TS 64 now click on the configure click on the PHP dot INI this is our file open so simply press the control plus F type the keyword here that is extension is equal to C here we are so we need to mention the DLL file here we copy that file name and paste it here first this 64 bit file copy this file name and paste in here paste repeat this for another one extension is equal to here is our another file copy the name and paste it here here we done our main part is over now save this file and close it restart the Apache just check it out it is working or not click on the admin
this is our dashboard as I told you before so now we need to download the SQL Server Management Studio you will find it here you need to pick up the latest version of uh, SQL Server Management Studio you can download it from here actually in my case I have already this file I have already installed the management studio this is my management studio setup file if I'm going to reinstall it let's see I think there is no need to reinstall it okay fine but if you don't have it then you need to install it guys so download and install the management studio and then create the database and simple user I'll show you the my database that is the simple test database I have created you need to enter the server name and the user and password expand this database folder you will find out the database here you need to create actually this is my database so let's check the it's working or not so our project is reside in the ht docs folder so open it here we will create the connection file this is our project folder that is a test inside it we will create the connection for a file php file In the connection file we need to specify the different parameters that is server name, database name, username, user password, this is my password. If the connection is successful then this message will be displayed. If not then this message will be displayed. So let's check our connection is not working or it is working. restart it this is our localhost we we'll call our project enter here your project name in my case there is a test you can copy it from here this is my project name basically you have to enter your project URL and this is my PHP file that is a connection file copy this and paste it here dot PHP extension and then click on that link See you guys, the message is appear here. So, 
we have successfully configured our XAMPP local server with the Microsoft SQL server so test again by changing the values so it is uh, not allowing the connection because I'm changing the username here again refresh this page and here it's done okay guys I hope this will help for you if you like this then don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you thank you so much